Hey, what is up everyone? This is Abhishek from Motion Nations and welcome back to another exciting After Effects tutorial. In today's video, we're going to take a look how to create this Instagram image like counter animation in After Effects. So you can use these kind of animation to tell your audience to like whatever image you posted on Instagram. So before I jump right into After Effects, I want you to please subscribe to my channel and please support me on patreon.com. The link is in the description below. Alright now I'm in After Effects so let's create a new composition so I'm gonna call this main and let's make the width and height are 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration 10 seconds just click on ok so now I'm going to create new solid so I'm using my new script quick new uh, you can use this to create all these different kind of layers or you can go to layer new from here you can create whatever layers you want so let's create new solid and we can make it white color and just simply disable it so let's select the pen tool and we will first draw the heart shape so in order to do that let's select the grid option so that we can make the use of this grid to be a little bit precise so let's just click over here and after that click somewhere around here and when you have clicked just simply drag the cursor so that it will create these handles and after that just click somewhere around here so that you can increase the space something like this so if I click back here you can see that we have this kind of shape select this point and then gra grab this handle and you can zoom in a little bit for more precision and just simply click over here so that we have this straight line now in order to create the heart shape you can go to the inside the shape layer and under the content shape just simply press ctrl d on the keyboard to duplicate it and under the share shape layer you can go to the transform shape then select the scale and uncheck the scale parameter and over here type negative 100 so that we have this shape and let's just quickly place it so you can use the position parameter so let's just align it with this shape kind of like this and can maybe zoom out to check out that we have this hurt kind of shape so this looks good for now and let's just disable our grid and we can maybe rename it to hurt and now let's just select the hurt layer and you can maybe move the, its anchor point in the center and let's align it in the center of this composition let's go to the shape tool and we can select the rounded rectangle tool and let's draw a rectangle something like this and let's place it in the middle of this composition maybe we can hide the hurt layer for now and select the shape layer and we can search for roundness and over here you can see that we can adjust the roundness values so let's go with maybe 45 or something yeah i think this looks good so let's just place it below the hurt layer and we can rename it to rectangle and let's just change its color to red so let's search for fill effect and let's just apply on top of it and maybe from here we can select something like this pink red color so kind of like this and maybe we can enable a hurt layer then select the hurt layer let's press s on the keyboard to scale it down and we can select both of these layers and then choose the align panel to align them kind of like this and maybe you can select the rectangle and then scale it down something like this and let's place the hurt over here so this is looking nice and let's just create our counter so select the text tool and after that click anywhere in the preview window and after that let's create new null object so you can use this script also and let's apply effect call slider controller to this and once you have applied the effect just simply click on this slider right click and then go to reveal in timeline and from here we can 
select the text layer and if i go inside the text here you can see that we have the source text so alt click on this stopwatch and it will give you the space from where you can write your expression so we are going to type math dot round then curly braces like this and make sure your cursor is in the middle of these two brackets and then select the pick web tool and we can simply select the slider so if i go back here you can see that we have the zero text now if i select the null layer and move the slider here you can see that our slider is moving so this is how you can create the animated counter so let's just quickly rename the layer to counter and maybe we can move its anchor point in the center so let's just quickly align it in the center of this composition maybe we can scale it down a little bit and let's just place it somewhere over here and on this null layer we can create a keyframe for this rider so let's start it from maybe zero or you can start it from wherever you want so let's start it from zero and over here we can change it to 100 so you can play around with these values and if you want to have more likes you can just simply increase this rider controller so for now let's go with 100 and if i zoom out here you can see that we have the counter animation and everything looks good for now so let's just select all these layers and press u to collapse them and after that we are going to add let's just scale down the hurt little bit and after that select the rectangle tool and go to this pen tool and we are going to add a little bit of the triangle over here so that we have this so let's just drag it over here and you can adjust its shape something like this so that we have this pop-up kind of look and after that we can select all of these three layers and we can maybe parent it to the null layer and from here we can scale it down however we want so for now we are done with the animation part of the counter and let's just create a composition for an image and let's call this image and make sure the width and height are 800 by 800 frame rate is 30 and the duration is 10 seconds so let's click on ok and after that just simply import your image into the in after effects so let's just quickly do that and drag it into this image composition maybe we can scale it down a little bit so just place it however you want something like this and if i go back into the main composition and we can maybe enable the background so let's just quickly import our image composition over here and we can maybe press s for the scale and let's scale it down to 75 percent maybe after that just to select the layer and press ctrl d to duplicate it and in the bottom layer we can increase its size to 80 again maybe we can apply fill effect to it so let's just search for fill and drag it on top of it and change its color to white also search for another effect called drop shadow just apply it on it and maybe we can play around with these values so first of all we do not need any kind of distance so make sure it is zero and let's change the softness to 100 and opacity to something like 25 maybe so that we have this image with the borders and shadow and now let's just simply select this layer and we can change its name to base and let's parent it to the image layer so right now we are going to animate the image so let's just simply select the image layer then press p on the keyboard for position and while clicking on this position button we are going to hold the shift key then press s again for scale and in the same way for rotation so that we have three keyframes and let's just move them further apart like this and in the beginning we want our image to be somewhere around here and we can maybe lower down the scale to zero and rotation we can set it to 45 degree and so if i play back here you can see that we have this kind of animation but the path of the image is kind of straight so we can select the keyframes and then select the pen tool and from here you can draw the if you click on these 
end points and uh, it will give you few handles something like this and from here you can create the curve path so let's just quickly do that and here you can see that we have created this curved path so if i play back here you can see that we are, our image is now coming up from this following the curved path so just simply select the keyframes press f9 to easy ease them then go to the graph editor and maybe you can change the graph to look something like this and if i play back here you can see that we have this lovely image animation going on and now let's just select the all the layers which are below this and just make sure they are on top of this image layer and maybe we can select the null and just simply position it on top of this image somewhere around here and let's just quickly do one more thing uh, we can maybe scale it down a little bit kind of like this and let's just go with 62 maybe so this is this looks good and let's do one more thing select all the these three layers and make sure they are set to none and after then you can select the null pointer and you can move it around here so that the anchor point of the hole this whole counter is over here and then again select all these three layers then parent it to the null layer and after that we are going to place it on top of this image so i am using the arrow keys something like this so this is looking nice and after that let's just and parent it to the image so that we have this kind of animation and here you can see that our counter is now following the path for the image and maybe we can do one more thing we can just simply lower the position of the image a little bit kind of like this so that we have the symmetry from top and bottom and let's just quickly do one more thing and we can animate the counter itself so let's just select the null and press s on the keyboard for scale and r for rotation and in the beginning we want the rotation to be something like 90 and scale to be 0 so select these press f9 to easy ease them and then if i play back here you can see that we have this kind of animation maybe we can place it a little bit ahead so here you can see that both of the animations are happening and maybe we can select all these keyframes and just make them a little bit closer something like this so just play around with the position of the keyframes until you find something that looks good so i think this formation looks good for now and maybe if you are seeing this line in between the heart you can simply fix that by going inside the heart layer and select the shape after that go to the transform and you can just move them closer by using the position so here you can see that there is no gap in between the shape layers so let's just quickly preview it so this is looking nice and you can use whatever image you want just simply drag image into the image composition and it will be applied over here so if you want to add some effects to it you can just apply effects to this image so for example if i add tint to it kind of like this and if i go back to the main here you can see that we have the effect applied already applied to the image so this is how you can create some animated like counters maybe we can move the cursor over here and change the value to something like 250 so that the value goes a little bit higher so something like this and this is how you guys can create some animated image so this is how you can do it a uh, link for the tutorial files are in the description below also you can download the stock footage for this template and in which you can add whatever image you want and you do not need any software to edit it just simply drag your image and place it in the center of the video and all the animations will be already applied so you can download the stock footage from the link in the description below so that's how you can create these kind of animation so that's it for this video this is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one